Hi, this is Mrs. Robertson again, and today we are going to do Chapter 7, Lesson 5. It's located on page 561. We are going to learn how to solve and write uh, division equations today. So that's what we're going to take on. Um, and when you get to page 561, we're not going to spend time doing the real world link. We're going to go right on into the um, problems. Once again, these are really pretty simple until you get into the decimal and the fraction ones. Uh, the important thing is you need to show your steps when we do these problems. So please, write the, everything that I write down here. You need to be writing in your book. Very important. Don't skip any steps on this. Where You are learning the process of writing things in algebra, which is in your near future. Okay, solve division equations. In the situation on the previous page, the equation a divided by 4 equals 5. Yes, that says division. a divided by 4 equals 5, where a represents the monthly allowance, means the monthly allowance divided by 4 equals $5. All right, let's practice solving some of these equations. Let's do number 1. All right. Let's just copy it down the way that we need to and practice writing it. So let's just do this to the left. Example 1. A divided by 3 equals 7. When you write it down, you should be saying to yourself, A divided by 3 equals 7. Now, you are all smart kids. What's the inverse operation of division? That's right, multiplication. So we are going to multiply both sides, or you could show it with parentheses, by what is with the variable. Our variable is A. What is hanging out with the variable A? Y3 is. So you're going to multiply both sides by 3. That cancels, and you end up with A equals 21. Then they're going to want you to do a check step. The check step, 21 divided by 3, does that equal 7? Why, yes, it does. And you have your check step. All right. Now, let's go to the bottom of the page, and we are going to practice doing um, A, B, C, and D. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and do A up here in the top left, and then we'll do B over here, and C and D we can do below each other. All right. So, letter A. In letter A... We have x divided by 8 equals 9. What will undo division? Multiplication. I'm going to use a dot this time. 8 over 1. 8 over 1 or just an 8 there. All right, that cancels out. And x equals 72. Circle your answer. Check step. Does 72 divided by 8 equal 9. Yes, it does. Okay, now let's do letter B. Um, y divided by 4 equals 8. To undo division, we're going to multiply both sides by 4. With a fraction, it's 4 over 1. This is not a fraction, so it can just be a 4. That cancels. You end up with y equals 32. Check step. Does 32 divided by 4 equal 8? Oh, sorry kids, I didn't realize you couldn't see that problem. Does 32 divided by 4 equal 8? Yes, it does. All right, now let's do C and D. I will write my answer for A. It was X equals 72. For B, we have Y equals 32. Now for letter C. I'm just going to show multiplication with the parentheses. I'm going to multiply it by 5. And M equals 45. Does 45 divided by 5 equal 9? Yes, it does. M equals 45. In letter D, to undo dividing by 2, you multiply both sides by 2. You can do the dot. 
Uh, that'll be 60 equals B. Let's double check. Does 60 divided by 2 equal 30? Yes, it does. It doesn't matter if you put B equals 60 or 60 equals B. They both would be counted correct. All right, page 563. The multiplication property of equality. It states, if you multiply each side of an equation by the same non-zero number, the two sides remain equal. You are balancing the equation, kids. So, here, x divided by 4 equals 7. Multiply both sides by 4. Here they show multiplying it on the right side. I don't, it, it's okay if you would put the 4 on this side. It doesn't have to be on that side. You get 28. All right, now let's attempt a word problem. Example 2. Here we go. The weight of an object on the moon is one-sixth that of its weight on Earth. If an object weighs 35 pounds on the moon, that's going to be our total, write and solve a division equation to find its weight on Earth. Okay, so one-sixth. So you would have, I'm going to define my variable, they defined it as W equals weight. One six times W equals 35. Okay, now in the book, as you look on down here, they've written it a little differently. They put W over 6. Why would they do that? Well, 1 6 times W can also be written as W over 6 equals 35. All right, now to get rid of the 6 on the bottom, dividing by 6, you multiply both sides by 6. And you will end up with W equals 210. All right. Now, for those of you that are good with fractions, I want to talk another way about how to solve this one with 1 6 W. All right, so if you have 1 6 times W, equals 35. To get rid of 1 sixth, you can just multiply by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 1 sixth is 6 over 1. 6 over 1. That cancels out and you end up with W equals 35 times 6 and that's 210. 1 times 1 is 1. 210 over 1 equals 210, and I believe it's pounds. P-O-U-N, I'm running out of space. Okay, now let's do letter E. You can put this on pause, do letter E, and then check to see if you have the right answer. Welcome back, and the answer to E, here we go. This is your total 60. So something is going to equal 60. 60 apples in one third an hour. Write and solve a division equation to find how many apples Nathan could pick. I'm going to use A equals, equals apples. So I know that one third times A equals 60. Another way to write that is A over 3, that's an A, equals 60. To undo dividing, you multiply both sides by 3. And you end up with A equals 180 for that problem. So the answer to letter E is 180 apples in one hour, okay, because it's longer than a third of an hour, 180 apples. And the equation, you could have A divided by 3 equals 60, or you could do the one-third A. If you have one-third times A equals 60, both of those would be counted right. They're both correct equations, all right? And if you did this one, you know that to multiply by the reciprocal, 3 over 1, which is the same thing that we did down here. 
All right, now let's go to page 564. In page 564, we have another example. It says Carla is buying ribbon for costumes. She wants to divide the ribbon into 8.5 inch pieces for 16 costumes. Write and solve a division equation to find the length of ribbon Carla should buy. Well, this is the total, 16, and each one requires 8.5, she wants to do, take the ribbon uh, and divide it by 8.5 inches. So um, that'll find the length of ribbon Carla should buy. All right, so how much ribbon should she buy? To undo dividing by 8.5, multiply both sides of the equation by 8 and 5 tenths, and when you do that, you get 136. Carla should buy 136 inches of ribbon. Now let's do letter F. Allison is baking a pie. She wants 4.5 strawberries in each serving for eight people. Write and solve a division equation to find how many strawberries Allison will need. Okay, so the number of strawberries is going to be on top, divided by 8, and that means each person is going to get 4.5 strawberries. So I'm going to use the variable x equals total strawberries. x equals total berries, strawberries, sb for strawberries. All right, now we just multiply both sides by 8, and you end up with x equals 36.0. So x equals 36 strawberries are needed in order for each person to have four and a half strawberries. Okay, now let's go on and do the guided practice. And then I will give you your homework assignment. Here we go. To undo dividing by 6, multiply both sides by 6. And M equals 60. Does 60 divided by 6 equal 10? Yes, it does. To undo dividing by 5, you are going to multiply both sides by 5. K equals 55. Check step. Does 55 divided by 5 equal 11? Yes, it does. To undo dividing by 13, you're going to multiply both sides by 13. That cancels. V equals, let's see here, 14 times 13. 182. Does 182 divided by 13 equal 14? Yes, it does. Now in question four, Carrie and Taya are sharing a pack of stickers. Each girl gets 11 stickers. Write and solve a division equation to find how many total stickers there are. All right. So each girl gets 11 stickers. So you know you're taking the total of stickers divided by 2 equals 11. That's the division equation. Total stickers divided by 2 equals 11. Each girl gets 11. So how many stickers did they have at the beginning? Well, you just multiply both sides by 2, and the answer is T equals 22 stickers. In number five, Chen is buying a ham. He wants to divide it into 6.5 ounce servings for 12 people. Write and solve a division equation to find what size of ham Chen should buy. So the ham divided by 6.5 ounces will be enough for 12 people. How big of a ham? must we get? All right, so to figure the answer, you multiply 6.5 times 12. You're going to multiply both sides by 6 and 5 tenths. And when you take 12 times 6.5, 6 
seven seventy eight. So you will need seventy eight ounces. Uh, ham equals seventy eight ounces. I think I have room. Ham equals seventy eight ounces. Okay, there you go. Now, what do I want you to do for homework tonight? For your homework, I would like for you to do the problems on page 565. So, do 1 to 6. Page 565, 1 to 6. And that will be your homework for tonight. If you have questions, please feel free to get back on Zoom and ask me how to do them. I will have these answers posted for the following day. Have a great one. I'll see you our next session. I think that'll be Monday. Bye-bye.